Hi, we're going to discuss uh, three methods of converting images uh, to black and white. Uh, there was a, a video that uh, was probably one of the toughest videos I've ever tried to condense into a few minutes, but I have one prior to this called Color Management that I urge you to watch. It talks about some of the color models that we're going to be using at this point. But uh, first of all, let's talk about um, Let's talk about converting Im images to uh, black and white. Probably the easiest way to do it is go up to the image dialog, go to mode, and say grayscale. Now that's going to convert the image to grayscale, and it does probably the best job under uh, most circumstances. I don't know if you know this, but the light or the eye is inherently green sensitive. I think that's because of the evolution of our species where green has been the predominant color in nature, so our eye is predominantly green sensitive. So it takes the majority of the image and weights it towards the green, and then uh, the next color that it weights towards is red, and the last color is blue. The eye is least sensitive to blue, um, more sensitive to red, and the most sensitive to green. So what that basically is, is if we go to, we'll do it one more time, I'm gonna do an undo, and I'm going to say image, mode, and grayscale. And that converts the image to grayscale, weighted towards green, slightly towards red, and at least towards blue. So that is that type of conversion. So I'm going to undo this one. The next type of conversion that we're going to do is we're going to desaturate. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to desaturate all the colors um, to, it removes the colors basically um, to shades of gray. It's either based on lightness, luminosity, or an average. If we do it on lightness and we say desaturate, we get one kind of a grayscale. If we do a control Z to eliminate it, and if we go to colors and we say desaturate, we get a luminosity, desaturate it, we get a slightly different kind of grayscale or a black and white image. Um, if we go to colors and desaturate and uh, we go to average tell it to desaturate we get even a third type of uh, uh, black and white image. So I'm going to come back to um, I'm going to come back to uh, um, the color image here and we're going to talk about the final type. And the final type is what we're going to do is we're going to decompose the image <coughs> into layers. Now you can extract the channels basically as all of these different types. But what we're primarily interested in is HSV, which is, if you remember from the other video, hue, saturation, and value. Uh, RGB is going to give us three channels, which is going to desaturate the color and place them in three separate channels, red, green, and blue. Um, HSV is going to be based along the lines of the uh, hue, saturation, and value model. So we're going to click HSV and we're going to say OK. A new image is going to be created, which you'll see here in just a moment. Presto which is um, basically, let's pull up the layers dialog. We've got three layers here, one based on hue, one based on uh, saturation, and another based on value. Uh, we can turn these two off, and this gives possibly uh, one of the best uh, desaturate, or one of the best conversion to black and white methods. It's based on the value of the RGB colors, red, green, and blue colors within that uh, picture. So all we can basically do is throw out the hue by uh, trashing that layer, then we can trash the saturation layer, and we're left with the value layer, which is the image that we wanted. Now, once we have these images, naturally we can go through and we can get into brightness and contrast and we can change our contrast on the image or change our brightness or reduce our brightness or whatever we choose to do. 
Okay, those are the three methods of converting an image to black and white from color. Remember, you have the image mode, go to grayscale, that's one method, and we'll do a control Z. The other method is colors and desaturate and desaturate based along one of the three parameters. There it is again. We'll do a control Z. And then the third method is um, called decompose. In this instance, we go to the HSV or hue saturation value, which gives us a new image. Go to our dialogs, go to layers. Okay, trash the hue, trash the saturation, and keep the value, which is our image converted into black and white. Well, I think this wraps up this video, and I certainly thank you for watching. Please um, visit my website, www.photolink, that's F O T O L I N Q.com, uh, for much, much better, longer, and uh, much better resolution discussions of these topics. They're free, and you can download them. Uh, thank you. Bye.